My name is Mike Farmer and I'm a called person with Gracious Mamas and Share the Hope. And uh, I get to love on people and I get to use by God in a mighty way and for the kingdom of God. There was a gentleman who came into our church somehow. Not how he got in there, because he was with Prison Fellowship. He came in and made a presentation about uh, people in prison needing someone to love them and reach out to them. And I sat in the church pew and I went, no, I'm not doing that. And the Lord said to me, yes, you are. If you love me, you'll go. Like it says in Matthew 25, 40, the least of these, the last one everybody forgets, every church forgets, is you visited me while I was in prison. Well, there was a, a man named John Campbell, and he was in Leavenworth Penitentiary for bank robbery. He got out and there was nothing for him. There were no resources available for him whatsoever. And he says there needs to be something. So he started Gracious Promise in 1995. We're a full-blown charity. We had staff, we had buildings, we had all kinds of stuff going on. And in 2008, it just basically cratered. We were raising all our money to keep staff going. We were broke all the time. And God told me, uh, I was on the board of directors, he says, make gracious promise, all volunteer and all church supported. God gave me the vision, so I just trusted God to build that. And now we have uh, 12 churches supporting us. Everything we do is Holy Spirit led, Holy Spirit guided, and people can feel that love. There's two parts to gracious promise right now. There's the gracious promise part and the share the hope part. So the gracious promise part is a bridge from prison and jail to getting stable. We get them stable, help them get a job. Once they're stable, then we invite them to the Share the Hope group, which is the fellowship group that helps them once they're stable. We start out with eight guys, and now we're up to probably about 65 a week in seven different meetings. This is a group of ex-offenders run by ex-offenders or anybody else in the community that is addicted. Or, so this is not just a jail or prison outreach. It's outreach to anybody that needs help. Share the Hope is the place where they connect and live their life and be connected to get the real recovery. The real recovery happens then. It's not when they walk out the door and get what they need to get stable. The real recovery here is in family and friendship. And everybody that walks in this room become our brother and our sister and they're part of our family. They belong. It's raw and real. I mean, we're, we're raw and real. Nobody in this room has any agenda or anything. We're, you are who you are and that's okay. It's okay to be who you are. It's okay to be right where you are right now. We love you and accept you for right where you are now. People come in here in another mind, and then they come to, just like the guy in Prodigal Son, he was in the, in the pig pen eating pig pods. They say, I want something different. I could have that? Yes, you can have that. An abundant life in Christ, John 10, 10. Not just life, an abundant life in Christ. We want them to be loved on where they can feel like they can be who they are. Regardless of where they are, we love them at that point and then help them move on. I understand every single week in here who Jesus is and the power Jesus has to change lives. I was addicted for 35 years. I've changed my life. I'm taking care of my sister, reconnect with my son. I want to see my daughter. I want to show my ex-wife that I'm a different person. That's, it's life change. It's transformation. We have our ladies group called Anchor Her and it's in here every Monday night at six o'clock at Homer's Coffee Shop. And the women and the emotional love and connection they have is just totally different and it feeds the soul of a woman and amy mitchell and her daughter mariah have been through really tough times and so they can connect with the ladies the ladies know they're loved and her is our share of the hope and we do help support them and they're very important but we know we can't do what they can do and they can't do what we can do but together we can get it done we want people called we do not want volunteers people want to volunteer here and they feel like they're doing good and they're going to help these poor people. I'm sorry, we, that's not the place for you. If you're called to really love on someone and really want to help that person, that's who we are. We're all called people. It says, when you visited me in prison, you visited the Jesus in me. So everybody that walks in this room, we see the Jesus in that person. There is hope for redemption and transformation. We never give up on anybody. When I call, work with someone, help that person, live the life that they want to live, that joy is passed. There's nothing better. There is nothing better.